Welcome to IC3D training video creating flexible models using templates. The IC3D model library is shipped with a template library, which provides industry standard packaging models that can be created to specific sizes and include base artwork documents to accurately display artwork over the complete package. Unlike the model library where you have to create labels on the model faces and manually transform the model to size. To create a flexible model, click and drag a template with the blue F in the bottom corner into the 3D view to open an IC3D template window. Configure the width and height of the model, which is displayed in the preview window. The Style tab enables configuration of the model base flap and fill type from drop down menus. The Fill Amount slider and Fill Type changes are displayed in the preview window during configuration. The Seal tab enables configuration of the top seal and bottom seal sizes. The texture style of the seals can be changed using the Style drop down menus. The rear seal size and style can also be configured. All changes are displayed in the preview window and template layout grid. The Notches and Holes tab adds realistic tear notches and peg holes to the model when the checkboxes are enabled. The shape, position, width, and height of the notch and peg hole is configured using the drop down menu in Fields. The configured notch and peg hole appear in the preview. The Locking Mechanism tab adds two different styles of locking to the flexible model when the checkbox is enabled. Once configured, the model can then be added to the scene. The material in Object Editor can be changed using the Material Library and edited in the Material Editor window. Selecting the base artwork and linking to Illustrator opens the Template Layout grid document. Place an Illustrator artwork that matches the document size. Then update IC3D. The artwork appears projected on the model in the 3D view and can be saved as an IC3D file. With the base artwork still selected in Object Editor, the spot color gold from the Illustrator file can be changed to a gold spot effects in the Layers window. The material is applied from the Material Library drop-down menu and the effect is shown in the 3D view. With the base artwork still selected in Object Editor, the spot color white shown from the Illustrator file shown in pink in the 3D view can be changed to a white spot effects in the Layers window. The white material is applied from the Material Library drop-down menu. And the effect is shown in the 3D view. Using the Lighting window, a suitable shop environment can be applied to the background of the completed flexible model to display the spot effects and its reflectance in the applied lighting. This completes the IC3D training video creating flexible models using templates.